Hello, my name is Thomas Dimitrovich. In this session, we are going to review FUSE Selective Coordination Ratio Tables. The estimated duration is two minutes. Devices one and two are in series with each other in a power distribution system. For a short circuit downstream of device number one, both devices will see the same short circuit current. To achieve selective coordination in that condition, device one should open and device two should not. The time current characteristic curves tell us how devices respond to currents in region one. The fuse ratio tables provide additional information to how these two devices respond to currents beyond and into region two. This is the fuse selectivity ratio table. Across the top are the load side fuses and down the left hand side are the line side or upstream fuses. If I select any two pairs, in this case a load side fuse of a TCF or an LPJ and a line side fuse of an LPN, LPS, LPJ or TCF, this table tells me that all I need to do is maintain a 2 to 1 ratio of the ampere rating of those fuses and I will achieve selective coordination for all short circuit currents that pass through both fuses. Maintaining a ratio of 2 to 1 for these fuses ensures selectivity for all currents up to their interrupting rating, which is 200,000 amps. And as you'll note, I maintained a 2 to 1 relationship with a downstream fuse of an LPJ300 downstream of an LPJ600. 600. 600 is 2 times 300. So any fuse upstream of that LPJ300, 600 amps and greater, will selectively coordinate for all short circuit currents. Here's another example of three nested fuses with short circuit currents of up to 200,000 amps flowing through all three of these devices. As long as I maintain a minimum of 2 to 1 ratio, I am selectively coordinated. The LPJ100 would only require a 200 amp upstream, but I have a 400 amp, so I'm better than a 2 to 1 ratio. Upstream of the LPJ400, I have an 800 amp. That is a 2 to 1 ratio. I selectively coordinate for all currents passing through all three of these fuses up to 200,000 amps. In summary, fuse applications do not require calculation of short circuit currents. As long as the currents do not exceed the interrupting rating of these devices and we leverage the ratio tables, we can establish the ratio of fused amp ratings for selectivity. We ensure selective coordination for the life of the system regardless of the available short circuit currents. Thank you for sharing your time to talk about this technical topic.